Okay, well, it will be at our house at around 7 p.m. tonight. Don't forget the large bath mouse. Bye. Dude, I'm not sure if it's appropriate for you to invite me in a dinner, especially if you're married, but uh, what a blessed day, everyone. Would you look at that? We have our pumpkins ready to be harvested. Haha. <laughs> Golden pumpkins, always so yummy. Uh, although we have two or three pumpkins. I don't know, maybe I missed watering them. It could be my mistake. Is in this mod that I've installed, the one that enhances the... As you can see, the, the crops are the crops looks different. They look more organic. Uh, the, the downside is that when you water them, it, it's not that clear if the soil has been watered whatsoever. But uh, it's fine for me. So now we have a pumpkin uh, harvested. We'll have to uh, think of what uh, next, what seed we're gonna plant next. So eggplants are gonna be harvested in three days. Cranberries four days. And our uh, grape six days from now. Hey, hello, eggnog. Yep. I hear you, my boy. And hello, fried chickens. How uh, you make me feel so hungry, but they're so cute and adorable, though. Let's just gonna go ahead and collect with these shiny eggs. Turn them, turn them into mayonnaise. They should go straight to our mayonnaise chest. All right, there you go. Oh, that reminds me. I should, I should set up this sprinkler. Haha. -ha. Awesome, right? At least we can save uh, some sort of uh, a small amount of energy watering this part here. And uh, what I said earlier, we're going to upgrade our house, right? At least we have a kitchen and we have 450 wood and 10,000 gold plus. That means, yeah, we're going to go straight to Robin. But first, let's sort out our inventory. So this golden pumpkin is going straight to our golden chest. And then we're going to store uh, at least one in case someone needs it. And ooh, oh boy. Okay. Uh, this is going to be one of the... Okay. There you go. Well, the funny thing is that I do have all seeds, which we could use. Uh, all 30 of them. But it's an assortment of wild four seeds, though. I need an amaranth, though. Let's plant the amaranth seeds. Plant it first. Awesome. Now let's go ahead and water the plants. My favorite part of the farm. Watering the plants. Oh, it hurts my it hurt my back too much in watering the plants manually. Man, you know what? Instead of complaining all the time watering the plants, I should make I should do something about it, right? Like maybe uh going to the mines deeper so we can find a lot of iron ores for the quality sprinkler. Yeah, why don't we do that, right? Also, guys, thank you so much for being here. If you don't mind, help me out, grow the channel. Please do like and subscribe the video. And also by doing so, this will help let uh, let YouTube push the video related to Stardew Valley to all the people around the world, especially those who don't know this game yet, although they should be. This, this game is just awesome. This is actually our happy place, right? Don't you agree? Except for the planting or <laughs> except for the watering part, though. This is just, this is so, you know what, it, it, some people may have fun watering the plants, but me, it's just too tedious for me, but it's part of training. Think of it as training, right? Definitely, it will be easier as time pass by. But if you ask me personally, I, I love tending to animals, the wild animals. Uh, they, 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 I, I can, uh, because you can see their emotions, right? Every time you pet them, they're more interactive. This is my own personal preference, though. Everyone has their own. Awesome. Finally, we've, I've survived. I've survived watering the plants. <laughs> And the rest of our pumpkin is going to go straight to the shipping bin. And you know what? Before we do anything else, let's head straight to... Let's head straight to Robin's place. It looks like she loves corns. Thanks. This is really nice. And here we are. We are about to upgrade our house. Finally. Thank you. I'll get started tomorrow. I should be finished in around three days. Haha. <laughs> looks like we have a lot of moss here. So can't wait. Can't wait what type of food we can cook. And maybe we can ask someone else to move. <laughs> To move in right like marry someone in the valley i i don't know yet really i haven't spent too much time with uh the, the bachelorettes because i'm so busy making money upgrading everything to prepare for my family in the future and hopefully uh well uh, if you ask me i'm looking at uh number one leia abigail uh, who else Haley, uh penny actually everyone everyone's so pretty and beautiful but uh we'll see we'll see how it does goes and in the meantime let's go ahead and plant oh i've already planted uh the amaranth right yeah i forgot i think i forgot i haven't really watered the amaranth let's see. yeah i haven't let's water them all so after watering this plant what to do next uh, okay now we're done with that hey we have 19 blueberry jelly it looks like i need to craft more preserve jars and anyway, um, since I'm planning to go to the mines, deeper in the mines, maybe we'll just chop some wood and uh, get ourselves some knack bars. I have 10 though, but uh, it's it's better to have more of that. And also look at that, guys. I have one apple tree here, which has three fruits already and uh, four days, four more apples to go, a total of five. Wow, that's, that's good. That's cool. Anyway, we'll head straight to the place that I always neglect, which is the bat cave. <laughs> Thank you, bat, for the one salmon berry. Now let's just go ahead and chop some wood also it's uh 
fall and it's like 14th day of fall so we need to uh cut these uh, grasses so we have hay in the winter yeah we have to prepare for winter right unfortunately my greenhouse is not yet unlocked i'm so bad at start event I, I just play whatever i want how i want it to be i haven't really like played the most optimal way of playing this game but uh I'm just enjoying it that's it uh -huh, we've leveled up our one of our skill the cutting tree skill lumberjack skill i think that's the name okay that's gonna be the last tree for the day because we are now exhausted and it's now almost to yeah it's now 9 p 8 p.m let's just continue guess what yeah gathering some hay more hay or fiber but now i'm gonna gather hay. okay looks like our silo is full bad we, we're very oh look oh wait hey, chicken what happened to you hey looks like you were possessed are you are you possessed with something like a oh no she's stuck i think let me just cut this weed off maybe your your feet is stuck oh there you go haha <laughs> oh so accidents happen man you, you go home now are you doing good do you need a doctor okay Look at this. His butt cheeks are, are swiggling. <laughs> Good night, everyone. Let's go to sleep. Oh, look at this. Bright Tears is trying to sleep. Oh, sorry. I don't mean to disturb you. Should I eat the hazelnut or, uh, yeah, I should eat it. And we got like 171 wood altogether. And all right, looks like we could craft one or how many preserve jars? Let's see. One. Yeah, only one preserve jar. That's fine. Where should I put this? I don't know. I need more space. I'll just put it here for now and uh, I'll plan later on where to. Let me cut you. I'm so sorry, baby tree. Let me just do some quick inventory hey we have now uh 10 apples okay done with it done with the inventory let's call it a day good night eggnog good night good job for the day and we've leveled up our foraging to seven and now we're able to craft a tree fertilizer oh really nice okay i think this is from the 1.6 i i think so and we have the usual wild sea and the mountain totem we got six thousand gold from the pumpkin hey we're in the 15th day of fall the spirits are very happy today i'm so happy too uh tomorrow is gonna be a clear and sunny tomorrow perfect for the stardew value fair the event will take place in pelican town starting between 9 a.m to 3 p.m hey better be ready i think that's the festival where we show off our uh produce right get got any toppers crafty foragers know how to build them you can attach them to the wild trees that grow all over maple trees yield maple syrup oak trees yep yada yada yeah okay hey jody Oof, high snap, pan, Phew. That was quite a workout. Walking all the way up here. <laughs> anyway, I came to ask. I came by to ask if you wanted to have dinner with us tonight. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. Why not? You don't have to, but if you decide to come, you you could. Or oh, could you please bring a large mouth bass with you? Mm, okay, sure. Why not, Jody? That's right. One of those big slimy fish from the lake. I need one for the casserole I'm making. Okay, well. It'll be at our house at around 7 p.m. tonight. Don't forget the large bath mouse. Bye. Jody, I'm not sure if it's appropriate for you to invite me in a dinner, especially if you're married. But uh, let's see. It would be safer if it was your one of your daughter who came to, to ask me out. Okay, so uh, we need a large bath mouse. Hey, hold on. Oh, Egno gave us a bone fragment. <laughs> I wonder what kind of bone is this? Maybe uh, from a bird that she or he ate. It's not a trash. Uh, oh, it's a resources. That means we're just gonna have to put it in our resources chest. I just want to remind you that the story of Valley Fair is happening tomorrow. Mayor Lewis. Okay. Sure, Mr. Mayor. Hey, take a bath, eggnog. You're stinky. There you go, my boy. Hello, Tinolang Manok. <laughs> so yummy. That's the local dish in our country. It's like uh, a, a chicken with a soup. Oh, look at look at this guy. It looks like they're still asleep. Oh, don't oversleep, man. Time to go out. Enjoy the sun. <laughs> They said yes. Wow, look at that, guys. We have 35 golden mayonnaise. So I wonder what kind of a project we could use with that money. Something that will uh, put money in our pocket, right? Uh, like an asset. Uh, I haven't think of anything yet. We're at the, as of the moment, we just spent 10,000 gold for our house to be upgraded. At least we'll have a kitchen. And uh, today, the spirits are very happy. Uh, I'm thinking of going to the mines, but uh, hopefully I won't forget to visit Jody's place because she just asked us for dinner tonight. And... Uh, we're gonna have to look for a mouth bass there's ellie and finally we're done <laughs> okay what to do next uh large mouth bass let's see if we have one here in our gift chest unfortunately we don't have a large mouth bass looks like we're gonna go fishing uh, looks like we're gonna be heading to the mountain lake uh i think the mountain lake is the one near uh let's see it's the one near the cave right if i'm not mistaken so we need to go by uh drop by judy's house at 7 p.m uh, it's like uh 1 a.m i think we can make it 
on time enough time for us to bring that large mouth bass unfortunately i forgot to buy a trout suit but that's okay okay i think it's here there's a lot of uh this is a big mouth bass here let's wrap the line there you go and we have a green algae <laughs> oh there you go it's a it's a large bath mouse finally haha <laughs> awesome we have a large bath mouse or jody's casserole and you know what since we're here let's just continue fishing and this time we're getting a bullhead and uh, before we go to jody's dinner we're gonna have to get home as fast as we can just to freshen up because so it might be very stinky because we're fishing right now as you can see at least it won't spoil the food uh, it's like 4 p.m i think this is the perfect time to head straight home oh wait hold on i have an idea maybe we could fish here aha uh -huh. oh there you go we could fish in, a, in this fountain let's see oh we have a wood oh awesome okay this is interesting now 5 p.m i'm not sure okay more wood okay uh you know what it's now 5 p.m i'm not sure if we could head home and uh get in time to jody's place they're, they're just gonna deal with our stinkiness right but in the meantime let's give this grape to leia so pretty this is a very nice gift thank you as you always say Star the valley fair makes me feel like a kid again i'm glad our town hosted me too they hi to people here such a nice gift thank you and did i didn't mention and i want to get to know more uh alex because uh her gra grant so granny evelyn just told me er, er, before that there's something going on with alex so maybe we'll say hi to him nuts that hits the spot thanks nap sure how you doing bro i'm not gonna lie it rocks pretty hard to step outside your house and have a full-fledged carnival waiting for you <laughs> uh what do you exactly mean like you're not comfortable outside oh it's now 6 p.m can't wait for dinner i'm so hungry and maru oh, she's so happy this is a super gift thank you i'm teaching the kids about art history this week it can be a little dry for the kids so i'm having them learn by drawing a picture in the permanent style of each century <sighs> i really been a hit it's really been a hit <laughs> nice you're doing a great job penny all right let's head straight to jody's place hi snack come in do i smell fresh fish yes i have like three uh large mouth bass sam could you come in here and help with dinner yes ma'am hmm, sam doesn't like it wow this looks like quality bass snack thank you so much for bringing this Mmm, <laughs> that crispy bass was delicious. The breeding was out of this world. I almost feel like part of the family. Oh, is it me? Yeah, okay. <clears throat> Let me change my voice over. I almost feel like part of the family now. Well, thank you for the invite. I want to help with the dishes. Oh, look at this. Sam's also doing his thing. Cool, huh? Hey, we're friends enough for, for me to walk to his house or room. Oh, it's a band. Full-fledged band. So cool, man. Oh, hi, Snacks. Sebastian and I were just having a little jam session. We're trying to start a band, but we still don't know what kind of music to make. There's too many possibilities. Say, Snack, what kind of music do you like? Well, judging from you guys, how you dress, your hobby, I think you like rock music. Experimental noise rock. Hey, you know what? You know what? That's exactly the kind of style I've been thinking about for a band. What do you say, Sebastian? Should we do this? Okay. Thanks for the help, Snack. With my guitar skills and Sebastian's wizardry on the synthesizer, we're gonna be a screaming success. I'm convinced of it. Now I just need to find someone to play drums. Aha! Awesome. Hey, I can play drums. Look at this. I can play drums. Thank you. This makes my day really special. <laughs> thanks again for bringing that fish. It was some of the best we've had in a while. Well, thanks for cooking. I had like uh, one of the best meal in a while as well. It's always good to add to, to eat food uh, together with your friends, right? Because we've been like in a in the farm all alone and we're just eating all by ourselves and with the animals, although it's fun, but it's it's also good to have, you know, your friends and uh, your neighbors come around. Or this time we, we, we were asked by our neighbors to come around and enjoy good food, which was pretty fun and heartwarming. And I can't wait. Tomorrow's going to be the Stardew Valley Festival. And we have like a lot of uh, things we have in our chest, in our gold chest that we can show off, right? Right, you guys. Uh, let's go ahead now to the place where I always neglect. I guess you know about it the bat cave and we have a uh, spice berry all right it looks like we need to sleep early for tomorrow's festival right hey good night eggnog sleep well my boy oh boy we have like a thousand gold that's so satisfying from that uh day from yesterday and today's gonna be the 16th day of fall we were halfway before winter uh, the spirits are neutral today so we could go mining especially it's gonna be what that was yesterday is the spirits were very happy but uh we need to attend to jody's request by having a heartwarming dinner and look at this it's leia 
Hi, Snap. Beautiful day, isn't it? I brought you a gift. It's a sculpture I've been working on just for you. Ooh, it's so special. Just for me. Thank you. Aha. Nice. Thank you so much, Leia. You received Leia's sculpture. Oh, this sculpture looks uh, abstract. I don't know how, how what to call it. I'll just call it. It's called uh, How I Feel About... Oh, man. Oh, you're making me blush. I hope you like it. Well, looks like Leia made the first move of all the girls, but I'm afraid it was Judy because she just asked us to have dinner. But she's, I think she's married and <laughs> I don't know. Judy is so pretty as well, but I think she is married, right? But Leia, look at this. She's a bachelorette and uh, she just made us a sculpt sculpture from her own hands and the name is even called How I Feel About Snap. I hope you like it. <laughs> Let's see how it looks like. Man, uh, let's see. It looks like uh, it almost like I think he's trying to make a heart, but she couldn't do it. That's why it looks like entangled vines of some sort. But it looks cool. I'll just display it here with with pride and honor and dignity. Yeah, I'll just display it here to remind me of how of how um, lucky I am, special I am that someone really cared for me at least in this world. Uh, but here, there you go, Leia sculpture for me. I'm so happy. All right, Eggnog, uh, my boy. I know that we've been all together for through thick and thin, and uh, I actually want to expand my family, especially my pets. If you don't mind, I might be adding pets in the future. Ruff, ruff. Uh, no? What do you mean no? That's fine. Uh, you'll ha you'll get together. That's okay. Don't don't be that shy. Okay? Okay, you can do it, my boy. Ah, oh, looks like he's happy. She's, he said yes. I don't worry. I'll, I'll adopt a, a a a girl girl pet, so you will have uh, fun all together. And you have a girlfriend uh, finally. Okay, you'll be happy. Looks like he said yes, a hundred percent, and he's so happy. He's he's wiggling his <laughs> tail. Okay. Hello, chicken. Oh yeah, tomorrow today is get is uh, start start the valley uh, festival, right? Uh, let's get uh, a pumpkin golden pumpkin golden melon all the all the uh, high quality high-end fruits we have also uh, rainbow trout i'm not sure if this is the festival where we can showcase our uh, produce but i'll just bring this in case it is uh corn uh mayonnaise uh bok choy sunflower a daffodil oh how can i still have this daffodil here <laughs> uh what else uh cauliflower would be nice uh tomato okay why not uh tuna okay uh cauliflower would be cool there's a cauliflower uh eggplant yam no egg eggplant and then yam uh two more oh i'll i leave some space in case we need to buy some okay maybe uh, uh i i leave uh some tools behind okay there you go not bad huh okay let's head straight to the stardew valley festival hey wait i haven't really uh <laughs> watered yet our plants i was so excited i forgot about it i think i'm just gonna uh, go ahead and water half of it and then uh, the rest after this festival because I'm so afraid that I'll miss the festival again. All right. Aha. Finally, we are in the Stardew Valley Fair Festival. Trade in your star tokens for prizes. I don't have, but let's see what we could get. A star drop. Okay, this is interesting. A mysterious fruit that empowers those who eat it. The flavor is like a dream. Powerful personal experience, yet difficult to describe to others. No, it's like a, you're going to be tripping if you eat this, right? Rare scroll. Prize ticket, a thousand. A rock. Triple shot. Espresso. Okay. Well, snag, it's the big day. Our most important festival of the year. The Stardew Valley Fair. If you'd like to participate by setting up a great... Grand, grand, grand display. I've left an empty stand for you. Just let me know after you've set everything so that we can get to it judging. We could get to it to judge it. Okay, kind of say. Aha, nice. We got the max. Nah, now that what I like to see here have a star a token. We have like. Uh, one star token oh there's a tourist <laughs> okay so here we can put our produce uh of course we're gonna showcase our melon uh, the pumpkin mayonnaise uh, bok choy tomato blueberry uh what else uh people are gonna love uh what rainbow trout uh we also uh yeah we can uh, put this yeah yeah hey hold on hey there we go and Finally, sunflower. Give light to our little display. Aha, there you go. Hey, man, this is fun. <laughs> Looks like everyone is having fun here. Hey, Stack, having a good time. How's the band? How was the com composition? You've kind of hectic day. I'm gonna just hang out here for a while. So did you made uh, an experimental noise rock that I mentioned? Maybe, uh, yeah, you'll get, you'll, you'll get there. Oh, let's try this out. 
to, for 50 gold, we can play a slingshot. Okay, let's see. Oh, okay. I really don't know how to use this. Oh, there you go. Gotcha. Haha. -ha. More, please. More, please. Haha. -ha. Yeah. This is so easy. Okay, there is a time limit or what? Well, we have like 90% uh, successful. <laughs> nice. Okay, we're done with the slingshot. Let's try this. Now let's try and do some fishing. Let's see how good we are now. <laughs> All right, I think we are off to a good start. That was a perfect fishing for you. I think it's going to be another per- Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> The last second, I did not perfect it. My bad. And we've lost that sh uh, fish. There you go. We have another fish in our line. Let's see if we could get this. Yes, definitely we can. Aha. Uh -huh. Are we able to keep all the fish that we caught in this game? Okay, that was a good run. We have like 160 score. Nice. We caught five fishes with 10 perfection bonus. Nice. Not bad. And your reward is 204 star tokens. Uh -huh. Okay, let's do it. What's next? Clint's blade gets sharp every year working woodworking is an ancient tradition that i'm very proud to be a part of <laughs> hey leia you look so pretty here i really admire robin's carpentry skills i use a lot of the same techniques in my own line of work thank you again thank you again leia for the sculpture that that was really uh special for me too uh i think i'm in love <laughs> I complain about my job sometimes, but I do take pride in my work. These are some of my finest pieces. I hope you like them. And we have here the wizard. Let's see. Wolwick and I have known each other for a long time. He's a remarkable diviner and I and a good friend. Mm, that clown, I know him from somewhere. Was it the school of illusion or maybe a carnival of seek? Read my fortune. Oh, yeah, some crystal ball. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Why not? Hmm, I see you're laying on a coat. It looks like a hospital. Linus is there to keep you company while you recover. What a nice friend. Interesting. I see you and Leia work together on a farm. <laughs> I'm so... What? It's so killing. You seem very pleased about something. <laughs> Just, uh, I don't know. I don't know what to say. It makes my heart jump. The crystal ball has moved on. Now I see you harvesting a plum ripe melon. You're on a wonderful looking farm bursting with life. Wow. What a life. Ah, uh, the crystal ball is gone dim. That's all I can do for you, young one. Now just keep in mind that the future isn't set in stone. Whatever I've told you today can still be changed if you set your heart on it. Farewell. I know, I know. The crystal ball is spot on. Oh yeah, it's just, just a special girl for me. But she gave me a sculpture and she named it like how I feel about you, or snack. It was, it just took my breath away and uh, you know, that's it. Case closed. Hey, my buddy Linus. <laughs> These animals never judge people uh, by their look. Same can't be said for you. All these animals are friendly and love to get massage. Mew. And picked my little finger. Excuse me, little ones. And just a few steps over there, Gus is grilling up a batch of pork ribs. Yikes. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> That's okay. That's life for you. I've got some soul searching to do. Soul searching. That's deep, bro. That's deep. You can do it. But no matter what you do, if you're soul searching, always choose life. Better hurry, kid. Before all pams her fishes every last lunker and tent out. Okay, I think we're ready to start the carnival, guys. Let's do it. Oh, are you already finished setting up your grand display? Grant your grunge. I don't know. Yes, sir. Okay, looks like Mr. Mayor is checking our our uh produce. Now this is Marnie's. Marnie's produce is a little looks good. The cheese looks so yummy. And uh this is a uh, Willie's. <laughs> Look at the bait and the fishes. It looks like uh Perry's gonna win. Look at this produce. Just full of them. Full chunk of produce. Your return to Mary Lewis for the results. Congratulations, you wonderful first place with a rating of 96 <laughs> awesome we won your prize is a thousand star token spend them wisely oh and don't forget to clean out your grinch display box is this grinch i you know what i'll just uh, english is my second language i'll just just tell me guys in the comments how it's pronounced and also i'll google it later on but in the meantime let's just clean this up yeah we've won like a thousand token no uh what should we buy maybe the star drop okay we are done oh i would like to get myself oh okay i thought star drop is only a thousand gold or star but the price ticket is a thousand star uh yeah let's go with that with the price ticket and hold on there's still more here at the top oh there you go oh this is cool okay ah uh, so this is the barbecue place smells so good okay that is it guys let's head home and call it a day thank you so much thank you so much guys you're having fun all of you you all are beautiful people 
You deserve all the best. And all right, for more videos, you can look at, look at the, not like, but look at the lower part of the screen. I'm so sorry about that. And yes, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe to help me grow the channel again and to share the beautiful games for the valley. And we may always walk with patience and kindness because that is what love is. See you in the next video. And don't forget, Jesus loves you so much. Goodbye.